Sir, 61, the nays are 36. Uh, the bill, as amended, has passed. Mr. President, what a great day. What a great day. Um, but I think that it's important to reflect on the tireless advocacy of many, in, uh, particularly in the LGBTQ community, who have been fighting for partnership recognition and marriage equality for literally decades. Um, oftentimes when we hear the word marriage, we think of weddings, celebrations, the solemnization. I think about the rights, responsibilities, obligations, and benefits that flow from civil marriage that allow a family to be able to protect um, uh, themselves. This is indeed a great day and historic day. Today, we have taken steps to advance the cause of marriage equality for same-sex couples and for interracial couples. They are our friends, our family members, our neighbors, our co-workers. We've also taken a major step forward to strengthen religious liberty, and I want to thank the broad array of faith-based groups that worked so closely with us to ease concerns that many of our colleagues had that somehow the recognition of same-sex marriages and interracial marriages might be in conflict with their religious faith. You know, I think I'm most proud of the work that we did to engage in a very thoughtful and very robust discussion of balancing the importance of ensuring protections and rights for same-sex families and interracial families in America, and balancing that with the important um, need for liberty and secure, securing the freedoms of religious organizations in our country. And I'm incredibly proud of the work that we all did with our colleagues. So this was a big day. The final vote was 61 to 36. That's a pretty powerful vote. Yes. We think about it. So we now fire it like a torpedo back at the house, <laughs> uh, along with religious liberty protections that, frankly, nobody on my side of the aisle would have imagined that we could have accomplished. So for those Republicans, I think 46 of them who voted yes last time, now they have additional protections uh, that many of them wanted the first time around with regard to religious liberty.